Hello everyone, my name is Brad. Today I'm going to talk about the recent drama of Missile Burns and El Preso because it's really entertaining and really just interesting just to follow. There's a lot of funny shit people don't really see behind the scenes and if you really pay attention, there's a lot of hypocrisy. And this is not going to be like an analytical video, it's not going to be a comprehensive video, but just going to be me just talking and see what I saw behind the scenes. So Missile Burns uploaded a video on September 9th. It was about his hate mail series. And it's probably his only series that's actually original, that's actually worth watching nowadays, but that's my opinion. But this video he uploaded on September 9th is called Hate Mail, Hater and Video Part 2. His first half of that video was just about like a random hater. He either inboxed him or he just pretty much made up because he doesn't really show the actual message. But the second half of the video was actually worth watching because everyone that watched that video wanted to listen to the Part 2. Because that Part 2 was about one El Prezador subscribers or like a random puppet like a, or a so-called sheep that was defending El Prezador saying like oh you better watch out Missile Burns I'm gonna El Prezador is gonna get you he's gonna mind fuck you and all that jazz but it's, when you watch that video that kid is very depressed you can tell by his character but it's just in my eyes it was funny to me but it was just like are you, are you serious you actually made this kind of video towards Missile Burns I mean Pretty much everything you stated was towards Minnesota Burns, he already knows about it. But that video was very depressing, so I watched the hate mail video right after that, and it was just, it was very hypocrisy. It was very, Minnesota Burns was being very hypocrite, because if El Prezador, if El Prezador has something on his mind, he's going to say because he's, he mentions several times that he's a sociopath, and he's not really afraid of anybody because... If you're a six foot guy over 200 pounds, you're not really afraid of someone that's 26 and I don't know, 170, 180 pounds. I'm just assuming of Miss Burns what he looks like, but it's just El Prezador is not gonna be afraid of Miss Burns. Let's put it that way. As I mentioned before about El Prezador's puppet, the so-called the Rast video. If you actually go to that video link, that video is actually removed. And you actually go to that website, that link. It says. This video has been removed as a violation of YouTube's policy prohibiting content designed to harass, bully, or threaten. Sorry about that. That's what it says. I mean, if you actually watch that video, I mean, in a way, it does harass, bully, or threaten Missile Burns, but it's not really, oh my god, Missile Burns should be scared about this. I mean, if I was in Missile Burns shoes, I'd be like, this is like a fucking joke or something. I'll be laughing. I'll be like, wow, he actually made a video about me, and it's like, it's like a five-year-old made that video. I mean, I wouldn't be scared at all. I mean, I don't have the mindset of a two million, two million subscriber channel, but I have the mindset of a viewer right now. And what I'm seeing right now, I think Mizzo Burns is not really treating this in the way he should have treated it. Because what El Prezador wanted Mizzo Burns to do was make a video about El Prezador. Because if he does, El Prezador is going to get more attention. That's why most YouTube drama actually occurs because the smaller youtuber wants more attention either they want more subscribers or more views so that's why why most youtube drama occurs because people want more attention it's usually the smaller youtuber wins or benefits from this either because they're getting hate or they're getting just getting simple views or subscribers that's why most youtubers get involved in drama I mean, i don't really get in, and i don't get involved in the youtube drama because it's pointless I mean, it's not really fun for the actual YouTuber, maybe in the after effect, but it's just, it's kind of pointless to be honest. I mean, it's more entertaining for the viewers itself. So if you do like this video, please leave a like and a comment. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace guys. Thank you. Bye. Chop in here. Chop in here. Chop on our side, dude. Execute the traitor. I got you.